My mom taught me to read when I was about four years old, and I've been reading ever since as a child. I always had a book I was working on, so I've always loved reading. I wrote short stories, I wrote poetry as a child. I soon figured out that English was really where my strengths uh, were, and it was my Composition One instructor at what was then Chipola Junior College who really inspired me and sort of planted that seed to become an English major. At the end of this particular paper, she wrote, you are a writer, in capital letters, exclamation point. And I, I still remember that. I remember how that looked on the page. I really have a passion for both reading and writing, and I, I hope I can share some of that with my students. I love the fact that I'll have 16-year-olds and 60-year-olds in the same class. I love the types of conversations that that sparks. Um, and I tell students, you're not going to have that many opportunities where you will have time set aside during the week to talk about stuff that matters um, and read stuff that you would have otherwise never picked up um, and meet people you would have never encountered otherwise. So I really value that diversity. I feel like uh, every class should be a type of community and ideally everyone should have something to contribute to that community. Part of education is finding that balance between humility and confidence, finding out what you don't know, how much you don't know, um, but also having that drive to find out what you need to know and to ask the right questions, to ask the hard questions. So that's what I encourage my students to do, to be an active participant rather than just a passive observer. I have some amazing colleagues in the English and Communication Department that have really mentored me and befriended me. We have a really good uh, type of collegiality going that I value very much, and I, I have that with people all over the college. It's always really nice when a student comes back to visit me, because for me, college really helped me figure out who I was and what I thought about the world. So I hope that you know my students are, are getting a little something of that out of my class that will serve them as citizens and as people, really.